Hey there, it's Brittany. I wanted to do a haul video for a Black Friday um, shopping spree I did on FireMountainGems.com. I love haul videos because I love seeing, you know, what the beads look like. Sometimes it's hard to tell what they look like on the website, so I wanted to share. It's just a smaller video, um, just a few things, but I thought it'd be helpful for those of you who are interested. Um, I was really excited to get some of these sequins beads. Um, looks like they're 21 millimeter and they're package of eight. This is the gold color. I love them. So they're so gorgeous and they're just such a, so sparkly, perfect for holiday jewelry. But let me tell you what, these have such an odor. Like I can't even describe what the odor is. It's like um, musty, um, it's, it's terrible. And I absolutely would not have purchased these if I had known that. Um, and it, this isn't the only color that has that smell. Almost all this, the colors that I purchased have that smell, so beware. Um, I'm gonna try and leave them out in the open for them to air out, but so far they've been out for two days and the smell hasn't gone away. So please keep that in mind. So I got this in a few colors, guys. I got this in gold, um, green. Beautiful. I mean, it's such a pretty color. I just wish that they didn't smell so bad because if I made jewelry with this, I mean, if you're making a necklace, it's gonna be up by your face. You're gonna smell that um, throughout the day. So I'm gonna have to, maybe I'll even wait a year to see if I can make them make something with them next year. Um, I also bought this beautiful like ruby red color. Look how gorgeous those are together. Um, I bought blue. These are huge, they're so pretty. And I bought silver. So, I mean, even all five of these colors would look fantastic together on a necklace, just strung in a row. But again, just that musty, it's not mothball, it's it's really, it's a very strong odor. I would um, suggest um, not purchasing these. Uh, if it were up to me, I wouldn't do it again. But they are gorgeous. Okay, move on. Um, I like getting mixes from Fire Mountain Gems. I I have a lot of beads and I nothing seems that new to me anymore. So I usually just get mixes because I never know what I'm gonna get. Um, I saw these on their website and these are so gorgeous. They are mm, ceramic eight inch assorted 20 millimeter donuts. So they are gorgeous. And the cool thing is I got two sets and they go with the same um, pattern of how they string the beads. So now I have doubles of everything. So I can make earrings, I can make a bracelet, I can um, you know, make a matching necklace with something. I'm so excited about these. They're ceramic. Um, this one, I love the pink. I love this turquoise, you guys will know, tur turquoise. And you'll see that coming up soon. Turquoise is just my favorite color ever. And they're just so fancy. I love ceramic glaze finishes. These are beautiful. Look at this black one. Look at that. And the beautiful pink. I've got red. More black, but a different color scheme. Got a beautiful rich brown. And more turquoise, more pink and a red. So these, I'm gonna be so excited to use these in something. I don't know what, but I think they're gorgeous. I was kind of skeptical when I realized, when I purchased them, I actually thought that they were gonna be much bigger. So when I saw them, I was like, oh, 20 millimeter. I was thinking they were gonna probably be like 40 millimeter. And, but I'm super excited that they're so gorgeous. Um, these were $1.98 a strand. Okay, um, another mix I got um, was, it came in this bag. So I'll open that up for you, but here is the description. So mix bead glass, 15 inches, and there were five strands in here. And I typically don't just buy mixed bead, like glass 
beads like this because these are pretty basic. Um, but I thought I'd take a chance because sometimes in these bead mixes like this, you'll find some beads that you haven't seen before or maybe some colors next to each other that you haven't thought of before. Of course, I'm gonna take these apart, but I just thought, you know, sometimes it's fun if you're stuck in a rut to get one of these like mixes so you can pair it with some other beads that you have and maybe see colors next to each other that you hadn't thought of before. So there are five strands here. I think I said they're 15, min 15 inches long. So they're not gonna fit in all, the whole strand isn't gonna fit in the frame. But here are five strands. And there's some Millefiori, um, I hope I said that right, uh, beads. So the glass beads that have kind of canes going through them. There's another, should be another one on this one. Yep, here we go. So these are neat. Those are kind of cool for um, maybe keychains or um, like a, a funky necklace mix. I like these like little crackle beads next to it. Lots of bicones, which I don't typically use in my jewelry. I just never really got a, uh, along with bicones very much. I use them sometimes in Christmas jewelry, but I'm not a bead weaver, so I haven't really figured out how to use them too much. Um, nice like milk glass. Lots of um, rounds, some cube beads. I can't tell what color this is. It's like a purple. It's a purple color. It's, you can't really see. So that's one strand. Here's the next one. More purple, more, lots more bicones. I'll have to figure out a project using bicones. Nice, cute little heart. That'd be cute with like some turquoise on a stretchy bracelet. Some nice um, rondelles, some weird like, that looks like almost like a melted ice cube. So another cube bead. So pretty basic, but really these are good filler for like, what I'll probably end up doing is putting all of these in a jar and leaving them as a mix instead of sorting them. I'm trying to be more whimsical in some of my storage because I can be very uh, um, anal about it, but I think I'll maybe cut these off the strands and just put them in a jar and just use them as inspiration to be more colorful. Here is another mix, more of the, I'm hoping I'm saying this right, but I'm not. Tell me if I'm not saying it right. Millefiori beads, um, more, these are gonna be like perfect spacers. That's what, yeah, if you're looking for spacer beads I, that aren't metal, I would suggest this mix. Another, glass bead there, another cube. Um, this one, this mix was $2.10 for five strands. That's why I went and got it because they had it such a good sale on Black Friday. I thought it was worth it. Even if I, you know, it's not something that I'll use right away. $2.10 for five strands of beads I thought was pretty amazing. I love this round here. It's like a purple gray. It's a pretty cool red one there. More bicones and cubes. Another millefiori bead. I'm gonna have to look up how I, how to say that because I'll be embarrassed if I'm saying it wrong. Um, nice. This is like cool a cool focal bead. It's a little bigger than a lot of the others. Nice black. Oh, is that black? No, that's a really dark purple. I don't even think you can tell. It's really dark purple and more crackle beads, another square like cushion bead. Oh, that's kind of cool, look at this one. Very cool. And last but not least, here's another one with cubes. I love these colors. Nice like crystal-ish cut bead. These are, I like these rounds, these bigger rounds. Here we go. Um, I got, I bought two more mixes and I'll show you the one, well, I'll show you the one that I like the least at first. So this was, it came in this bag. So it's mixed bead fancy gemstone glass slash glass, 15 inches, 10 pack. 
So when I was looking at this on the website, I was thinking, oh, that doesn't really look like something I'll use because I don't typically use top drilled beads. Um, and I do some wire wrapping, but it's not my favorite. Um, but I was like, you know what? It's such a great price. Some of these beads look cute and it'll be great. It's like a good, I feel like this is a good testing mix. Like if I wanted to test out my bead wrapping or like a project that has top drilled things, I thought this was a good mix. Um, let's see, this one, this one was $3 for 10 strands. So that's still not bad. Um, here, I'll, I'll push those off camera, but this one, I'm, I just don't see myself using this, and it's not top drilled like they said, but um, possibly like with some turquoise or something, um, maybe a very long necklace, but I think these will probably be in my stash for a very long time. I, I don't see myself, unless I do a challenge or something, like maybe I should do a challenge with beads that I don't like and making as much jewelry as I can with them that might be that might be fun so anybody wants to join that challenge with me let me know but I just don't see myself using these in everyday projects they're just meh they're okay I mean uh, you can see what they look like I, they're not my favorite so um next is this little strand of briolettes they're they're okay they're cute I don't like I said I don't typically use top drilled these are cute though um, I'm trying to think maybe I could do like a dainty little necklace with these or even maybe some um, memory wire earrings hmm that might be good I don't know and I don't know these are probably these are about six to seven millimeter I would say they are they are pretty I like them they're gemstone they're very pretty um, next is another similar strand the, the last ones were very white these are these are have a very very faint pink I mean blank if you miss it pink in there it almost looks like rose quartz consistency but I I, I don't know I've never seen a rose quartz that this that's this light pink they're very pretty um, I, I think I would do some gemstone earrings with these as drops. We'll have to see. Um, next is this set. I think these, somebody called me right in the middle of videoing. So I had just pulled these up and I think these are pretty funky. Like look, look at that color combo. I don't know what the name of this gemstone is. Um, I've seen it before, but not really this wildly marbled and, and chain, uh, with this big of a variation, but I think they're pretty cool. I can see these on a bracelet or a necklace or earrings even, but I think I would put them on a bracelet. I love this like mustard paired with a, like a cocoa brown color. Yeah, I think they're very cool. Very cool. And then there's like even some white I love them. Okay, next is <clears throat> this strand. I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan of this strand either. It's a weird, like, do you see where the hole is? Like, it's just a weird shape. I don't, I'm not a fan of diamonds, really, this shape. Um, it's like a tile bead. I'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how and if I use these. I think feel like these will be in my stash for a while too. Unless I do a giveaway or something. If you like them, tell me what you would do with them, please. <laughs> Any ideas would be greatly appreciated. Next are some rectangles, some cubes, oh, cube rectangles. These are uh, another like uh, translucent bead you can see you kind of see you can't see through them but light comes through them so I like these I think I'll use these with some maybe some crystals um, because they have a nice variation they have some striations of brown and like the brown going into the white creates like a pink almost um, and oh, I like them they're good they're cool I don't know what I'd use them with they're about I would say about 11 millimeter 
11 or 12 millimeter by maybe six, six millimeter possibly. Pretty basic. Um, next is, these are like little brown, little brown drops. They kind of remind me of root beer almost, like the color. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, my hands are so beaten, beaten up. Um, yeah, they're like a root beer, like little drop. I think these would be cool with like um, orange or tan or like citrine crystals on a like a bang, uh, like a dangly bracelet or earrings or necklace. Very cool. Um, these, I'm not a huge fan of this strand, just because they look a little dirty. Well, let me do this here. They're like, um, like off-white, gray-ish color. They look, probably look better in the camera than they do in real life. So, there are quite a few of them. I think maybe if I did like some amethyst in between or um, maybe amethyst and turquoise with these, they'd be pretty. I don't know. We'll see. Again, I think this might be one that's in my stash for a while. Um, I think those were probably around four millimeters. Um, second to last strand, just some more drops. Pretty basic. These are probably... Um, I don't, I don't think these are real turquoise. They could be, but I think they're probably imitation. And then last but not least for this mix, um, these are my favorite out of the mix, of course, the turquoise, or at least turquoise color. I don't think they're turquoise. They're probably magnesite or something like that. Not white, maybe. But um, look, at, look at the cool veining through there. I love them. I love the shape, like the fat cushion teardrop shape. Love it. I'll probably make a pair of earrings, a couple dangles for a bracelet. I think they're gorgeous. Love them. And then I also got a free gift from Fire Mountain Gems. They sorry for moving the camera. They typically send something along. I haven't ordered from them in a, quite a while, so I was surprised to see a pair of earrings. Before the free gift was like a pen or a keychain or something, but these are actually pretty cool. So it says Happy Holidays, enjoy your free gift. And they're just really beautiful, very detailed. Um, I don't know if that's focusing very well. Um, very detailed ear wires. So maybe I'll even use those turquoise briolettes on there. I thought those were really pretty. And then the last mix I got was really surprising in how much I liked it. Um, let me see if I can find the name of it. It's um, Mix Bead Glass, 16 inches. The beads are 6 to 22 millimeters, and there were 10 um, strands. So one of the strands was, it all came in a big bag. And one of the strands was broken, which is fine because they were contained in the bag. But the thing with this was there were so there was a lot of powder all over the beads. They were from India, and I think it's because there a lot of them are um, lampwork beads. Here are nine of the strands. A lot of them were lampwork beads, so they were they had like that powder on them. All I did was take out a um, colander, put all the beads in there, and swished them underwater in my sink and laid them out on two towels, let them dry out overnight, and they're gorgeous. I I don't, I know some of these shapes and colors are, are maybe not more sought after beads because they're basic and maybe think thought of as cheaper beads, but for somebody who's been working with beads for 25 years plus, it's been, it's so much fun. I started beading when I was like five, five or six or seven, something around there, um, but it's fun to go through these, even if they're not like the um, premium beads that I would I covet some of the time. But like, it's so fun going through these mixes for me because maybe there's a bead in there that I can, just one that I can focus a whole look on or a whole design on. Um, and then you get all of these, this whole thing was 
uh, four dollars for ten strands of beads and I think there's some really good keepers in here so I'm gonna go through each strand I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on them but oh and then here in this bowl is the strand that broke so we can go through that so right away love this red bead well maybe it's brown it's huge this is probably 12 to 14 millimeter. Um, but there's just so many cute, like, this would be great for like a uh, brown statement necklace. Um, there are some like this, like a top drilled one, that would make me kind of step outside of my comfort zone. Cool orange color. Lots of, you know, turquoise teals. Um, this weird gigantic one. Love it. Glass. These are all glass. This one's got some gorgeous sparkles. Look. Oh, I love it. So, really cool. That's the first strand. Here's the next one. So, I love that they, like, just strung on whatever beads they grabbed out of the bag. I love this tech. Like, look at that texture on this barrel. This beautiful baby blue. This one, obviously, is the favorite. It's turquoise. Um, like, what's going on with this guy? This might have had, like, some kind of finish on it, I think. But it washed off. Now it's matte glass. Oh, I love it. I'll use it. This one's really cool. Uh, I don't know if we can get... Okay. So it's like a pink with, like, cloudy white and some other color in there. That one's pretty neat. And then this one's got, like, a really cool shape. another one big honkin red one right here he's cool love it it's a uh, kind of faceted but it's not I didn't try too hard on that one but I still like it it's a nice bohemian look like these would be great if you're into bohemian look like necklace cord knotting um, uh, crocheting jewelry crocheting these are perfect for that or if you're just getting started I, I mean I am not a beginner, but some days I feel like it. <laughs> but I mean, I think anybody would enjoy these strands. Here's the next one. Ooh, that one's nice for like Christmas. We have all these nice blues over here. Here's the next one. Oh, I like these two together, this green and this blue rondelle. And then this guy right here, like the two-tone, almost ombre greens. I like this deep green, perfect for Christmas. And this nice red jewel tone and this purple one right here. My best friend loves purple, so maybe she'll get that one on something someday. <laughs> I love this strand so much. So there's so many big beads on here. I, I would definitely order this again just to see what I got next time. So there's this huge, you know, it's kind of a glare. So this huge um, white milky bead. There's another one right here. But look at this guy. Love it. It's like a cone. I think that's pretty cool. And then... Um, like this one has a shimmer on it. This one's like a yellow. I love this one right here. Another cool yellow one. And this one um, has some like runes etched into it with like almost like a coppery metallic color in there. Here's another strand. I love this yellow one. I love this red one. Just, I love them all actually, but they're so much fun. Here's the next one. Look at this guy. This nice big green one. These are so much fun. 
These are so much fun. And you could do like maybe just big bracelet that could match several different outfits if they're all different colors. And then last but not least, this one's got like a sheen on it. Um, we got another big white one. Very cool. And then the last thing I got from Fire Mountain Gems was this um, strand, the silver strand. It's bead, I don't know what ASF means. Uh, pewter, 12 inch, 20, is it 26 milliliter? Yeah, 26 milliliter. Um, these were $3. I only bought these because I have these in gold, and I love them. I use them so many times. I've made earrings with them in gold, and I could not find them in silver. Um, I get them in gold at Joann's, um, but they don't have silver. So I was super pumped when I saw them at Fire Mountain Gems, and I bought them. you got to be careful sometimes because they come with these black spots on them. And I don't know if that's going to come off. Oh, it does. If you, like, use your nail... To get them off it comes off now it's all over my hands but um i love them and i'm going to use them with earrings i, I love using them on earrings because they just like flip back and forth they make great statement pieces they're so fun um thanks so much for watching if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and uh i'll see you in the next video